knows exactly how to do it. You don't know how to do it, but he knows how to do it. The Bible says that there was this, they, the Syrians heard this miraculous noise of horses and chariots. So therefore, what they did, they got up, the word of God said, they got up and fled in a hurry because they thought that the king of Israel had sent uh, other, other uh, uh, allies, should I say, to, to captivate them. So the Bible says they got up and they fled for their lives. They ran for their lives. And the word of God said they left horses, they left everything. And as a matter of fact, by the time the lepers got there, the word of God said all down through the path, their garments were spread in the path because they were so busy trying to get out of Dodge because they knew that if they stayed, they knew that they were going to be captured. So the word of God said when those four lepers arrived there at the camp, they looked and behold, there was no one there. God is an awesome God. They didn't realize that God had a plan even for their lives. Although they were outcasts, although they were thought of being people that were not good, God said, I'm going to show these four lepers something. The mere fact that they had the faith to step out of their situation, the mere fact that they had the nerve or the, should I say, the tenacity to step into the enemy's camp, I'm going to show them exactly what I can do for them. So the word of God said when they got into the camp, they ate very well. As a matter of fact, they were happy. You know, they looked around and they had to make sure, you know, you know how we feel sometimes, you know, and when the Lord changed our lives and we look around us and we see this new creature, you know, look at our hands, our hands look new. Look at our feet and they do too. You know, we turn around and look around, all around us shine and we ask the Lord, is all this mine? They ask themselves, is all this mine yes it was it was theirs they were able to get food they were able to eat and they were drinking the bible says yes they ate and then they consulted with each other again and they said well you know we can hide this food you know because they begin to hide the food how many of you know you know i mean i know we can we, we can we, okay let me let me go right with this you know but y2k they said they said, you better get these big storage houses and you better put a whole lot of food because, you know, if things doesn't work out at Y2K, you got to have, you know, when all of the numbers are not right, then you got to make sure you have plenty of food. And matter of fact, on the news they were saying there were some who went, uh, you know, extra, you know, the, you know, the extra miles to make sure they had, you know, quite a bit of food stored up. And I know that we have to be wise in our dealings. I understand that. But how many of you know that God knows how to keep us and feed us in the time of famine? He knows how to do it. He knows how to do it. But the word of God said that those lepers were so desperate that they began to hide the food. They de decided that, well, if I hide it, you know, if they do come back, you know, if we can get away from this, then we'll have some food to eat. But God wanted to show them that I'll take care of you if you just trust me. And so what they did, though, they got themselves together and they began to talk to each other. And isn't it amazing how sometimes sinners do better than saints? Yeah. They will confess their sins. They will confess when they are wrong. But the saints, you know how we do. Oh, we're so anointed that we try. You remember? You remember? remember? We, we, we're, we're, so, we're so anointed that we don't see our own Remember the moat and the beam, you know? You got the log in your eye and you're trying to take the splinter out of someone else's eye? You, you know how that works, right? So the word of God says these men were blessed, but they said, well, you know, this is not right. They said this is just absolutely not right. We don't really have to pray about this. There is that moral code that tells us that this is not right. And if we don't do this thing right, then some evil will overtake us. They had enough sense and enough courage to know that if they did not at least go back and tell the king in Israel that there was food in the enemy's camp. Food in the enemy's camp. They felt that some evil would overcome them. So the word, I know, y'all stay with me just a little while longer, okay? Stay with me, because the word of God is good to me. I don't know about you, but it's good to me. 
And when I think about the goodness of the Lord and how awesome he is, you know, it just makes me get happy. When I think about his word and how his word changes people's lives and how his word, you know, transforms people's lives, I get excited about that. That's why I like to stay in there and make sure that I'm okay. And if I'm wrong, you know, my ministers can correct me and, and even you can correct me as well. But the word of God said that these men decided, let's go back and let's do this thing right. Let's go back. So the Bible says that they went back and they had to get a servant to go tell the king because they knew that they were not allowed in the camp. They knew the ritual, you know, rituals for lepers. They knew exactly what was right and they knew what was wrong. Isn't that something? Lepers knew what was right and they knew what was wrong. Church folk, we know what's right and we know what's wrong. And when God calls it wrong, it's wrong. And when it's right, it's right. Isn't that way? It, it, it's no in-between area. And it's no God understands my heart. It's no, under, you know, listen, we, we just got to get this thing right. Isn't that right? So the Bible says that when they went back and gave the message to the king, of course the king was very cautious because you have to be very, very cautious. They too knew that they had to use stratagems to see if what they were saying were really, really true. I tell people over and over, your word is your bond. And when you speak things, you ought to tell the truth about it. Isn't that right? When you say things, it should be things that are real and things that are right. Isn't that right? So the word of God said that they spoke to a servant, and the servant told the king, and they strategically decided that they were going to set it up so that when they go back to the camp to see if what they were saying was true, everybody wouldn't get killed or slaughtered at one time. So the word of God said that they, when, when they went back to the enemy's camp, they found what the lepers said was true. And it was because these lepers repositioned for their blessing. They got up from where they were and they were blessed because they decided to make a decision for themselves. Isn't that right? And then the word of God said that that city of Mar Samaria were able to eat because of the message that the lepers went back to tell the king. And not only that, the word of God says that the prophet, what he prophesied became true. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that they were able to make purchases rather than for it being enormous prices like today. You know, they're saying we don't have this, we don't have that. So the prices are getting higher and higher and higher. But still, I know the Lord will provide. But the word of God says that Samaria came and they were able to get food. What am I saying today to us? We've got to reposition. In other words, there is a position. When, when we talk about position, we're talking about a place where you are or a place that has been established. But that place sometimes has to re again be repositioned. Praise the Lord. So we have to get up from where we are and make sure that we find out where the Lord wants us to go and go in that direction. Amen. And I know that is right. So the word of God said these lepers were blessed. And actually when you read the word of God, you do not see where these, and it doesn't give us the history totally. It, you don't see where these lepers were killed and you do not see where these lepers died. Let me just infer if I can. Can I please infer? I believe that God performed such a, a, a miraculous and powerful move in their lives that those lepers, I believe, I believe they were healed. I believe they were healed because they did what was right. I believe they were healed because God saw and he knew that they meant business. I believe they were healed because they had the mind to do what was right. And I believe that as we sit here on today, wherever you are, whatever you are going through, I believe God wants to do powerful works in your life if you would just get up and reposition so God can bless you. Get up from where you are. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining. Stop blaming everybody else. Stop blaming your past on why you're where you are. Stop being angry with your mother. Stop being angry with your father. Stop being angry with everybody and reposition for your blessing. Because God says, I want to clean up your life and I want to get you in the place that I want you to be in. Reposition for your blessing. But you've got to make up your mind. Make up your mind that you're going to do it God's way and not your way. So while we are adapting to some of these situations, I'm so appreciative of those that continue to come. They come on with the paraphernalia and they come on to church. They go, what, go wherever they go and do whatever they do. They come on to church and I'm appreciative of that. And God honors that and I know he blesses that. No matter what. You know, bring your crutches if you bring your boyfriends and your girlfriends. I'm talking about your crutches and your oxygen tents. I call those boyfriends and girlfriends. 
because some of us sometimes have them with us all the time and we need them. So bring them on to church and fellowship. Reposition for your blessing. Who am I talking to? I know you're here. God said, get up from where you are and stop blaming everybody else for what's wrong with you. And come on and allow God to put you in the enemy's camp so that you can see the miraculous things that he wants to do in your life.